child, even if I was the You're implanted as a child. Or at whatever point in your life. Taking a wireless hostage. There's a chance your torture was been deprived by the implants of the ability to use your body without it sending signals back to your brain to let your body know what was going on the whole time or to let you know what was going on the whole time from what it was doing with you and your body. So it would be like you had been under in torture but not under a sleep. It would be though even if you were born implanted and acted in to appear to be living your life if you ever become free from the implants, if that were to happen, you would still be able to control your body when, the when you become free from the implants. Such as if the implants remained, if it no longer controlled you, if it went back. Like, if the implant can send the signal, it can read the signal. If it's that one type of implant system, if it does, it can selfie it. Like, read it coming off one way that it was sending and you come out like a newborn child whenever you've done it or it's not meaning you're coming out as one born, one born a newborn child it's like you're coming out that whatever memories you had you still have you were just a wireless hostage the entire time whether or not it told you what you were a wireless hostage up to or not is different it may not have mirrored anything to send to you, to tell you what you were doing. It may not be mirrored torture. Like it sending to you what your body's doing without your body sending it to you as some type of torture. But when the implants, if it doesn't kill you, if it doesn't on purposely kill, maim you, and you're still implanted, and it stops whatever it was doing that was reading, not mirroring like a selfie camera back to your body to just know what you're doing? Because it would know what you're doing? It would have to be the whole, it would have to be the whole system. But you should still come out of it. Even if you were implanted as a child. Probably the whole time when the implants are done, it's not like it maimed your body. But it's not gonna be like for sure the implants broadcast like a selfie mirror to your brain. It's almost like how many parts of the brain would it be that you would come off of it, but you may be found, and some people might say you're maimed because you're unresponsive, you're like a newborn child because you may have been implanted your whole time, and the implants free you and you move around like a baby, get up and walk and everything. It may be like that. Does you find someone like that if they were implanted and you had freed them from the implants or the system went down. But if the system went down, there's a big chance that the implants are sitting there like a cell phone system went down. The cell phone system went down, the cell phones are just laying there still. No longer been sent to. And everybody's stuck in a position whether they fall down from it or not. There's a chance that people, there would be an extinction event. Could be the whole planet. Because people would be stuck. I, I don't know if the system has a fail safe. To where it would free you from the implants and put them in a mode. To where life would go on and there would just be no more implants doing that. Because there wouldn't be a system for them to go into to control them anymore. If the system went down, it would have to be shut down manually. If there were a second system, and I doubt there is one, that would free people from the implants, put it, the implants in a mode where they run off your body and mirror selfie to them without using any of them not doing that. Like it was like a connector in between two coaxial cables instead of an implant that like selfie mirrored it to one side down the other but not to a screen but just sent it down the same way. If they didn't go back to that mode when the system went down, 
people would be, people would die an extinction level event. So there's a great chance if you are to take someone out of broadcast, place them into anything that has no implants. I doubt without signals that ElectRx was designed that it would go back to instead of wirelessly controlling them as if it required a connector, it might not have a fail safe within the implant of the Elect RX to free you when there is no selfie, I mean not selfie, but <coughs> when you're not in range to whatever system is built in like global AI, worldwide slavery to control us. So if it was to There's all these chances that no one would make it. They would walk into something with no range or be, if, if it wasn't total worldwide slavery and someone tried to save someone, like they went off into society as people were going along their way. And it wasn't like people bouncing around and they tried to save someone. If you go with no range for it to do it anymore, it might sit there not mirror to free you or the implants might be it might be like a um uh, the elect rx if someone elect rx has suddenly attempted to be saved by someone instead of taking down the whole network you might not save anyone because you might have to make the implants go into a mode like a worldwide mode of if they're in you it might have to go into a mode to where instead of it's like a, the ability to read implants and it's not doing anything but acting in us, it'd have to go into a selfie if there's no wireless signal going to it, a standalone implant that's just there anyways with no access to it in a standby mode that is like you put them in you and it's not acting in you, but it's still a selfie. It's, it's a running implant off your body. It's like selfie coaxial split cable connector in between it of it's reading it and sending it over to the other side there's because if it doesn't go into that selfie mode that you're not a slave you could you could you could lose everyone if you the system went down of the elect rx you really could that's a new possibility about the elect rx that will be discussed in a elect rx type slavery of a nation <laughs> so what is it what's the answer if america was enslaved and you went to the system and shut it down and it was just like a a system that said this nation will be enslaved or, or else we would have to capture them with a system to place over their head like a bag, almost like that thing that jumped on that guy's head in American Gods. It would have to still be there to put this, put this into a mode, put the implants around it in a mode and protect it from interference. Because if you did, and it would be like tripping a dead man switch possibly. Because you don't know how these were built, what kind of system has it. It might say if there's no broadcast to the Elect RX, it will not save you. It will not go into a standby system. It may not be built to go into a standby system, and it might. It might be go into a standby system where it starts, it frees you from it. They're still running, but it frees you from it. There's no broadcast. It might free you some. But there's a chance that it would have to go in like a password into the ElectRx, like logging into a cell phone and say, don't act in it and let it be free. And if that was to happen, it would have to the implant is in there, it's a probably for sure. It would have to either go into standby without broadcast to it, to where you could be free from it. Because if it didn't, and it sit there like it was like it was in a mold, mode to hold you a hostage and act in you only, that said, if it doesn't go into a standby, then without broadcast, you would sit there. You may fall down, maybe whatever attempt that that happened. 
if you were to run across someone and have that equipment and be like, well, this person's not alive no more, and all I did was walk off. I'm, uh, and I said that, you know, it's still got air inside of it and stuff, but the person's, it's dying. Because the signal sent from the brain. It's not moving. Because it's in standby. The thorax is in standby. But they do continue to move. And, and it's, it's a functional type thing. Then it is in standby. And they can be freed. But if not, you have to have some type of access when you put that over their head. You have to have some type of access. And have to have like whatever app would know and be able to locate and put the implants into some type of standby mode so it could be so you could be free so who knows what what we're up against with the elect rx